Alright guys, back to another episode. I walked the path Traveler 2 last episode. We just finished Drone's route of both the mother and father. We managed to kill the father. He's actually she not our real father, sadly, because well, NTR reasons, but anyway, this episode. Our next lowest chapter is gonna be Cassie at level 31. And I believe this is something to do with the abandoned village. Like, I was wondering why it's abandoned, but like, I guess we're gonna find out. Damn, it's pretty dark. Cassie Chapter 3 After remembering she was part of Air's Apothecaries, Cassie follows Malaya's hints and arrives at Helix. What is that she's that she's supposed to find here? Helix Something bad happened here. Seems deserted. Malaya, where are you? Just gotta find her. Do we? Oh, it's right here. Malaya! You came, Cassie. What were you doing here? You're asking the wrong question. You should instead be asking, what happened here? Does the word Santanejo mean anything to you? Santanejo? It was a flower of great importance to Heirs Apothecaries. Santanejo... Good, Casty. It's finally time to remember. I'll even lend a hand. Acquire what Malaya knows. Casty and Arakar are searching for a sending a blossom with another member of Player's Boss. This memory comes from a time when they band work together to save people's lives. Santaneo Blossoms. Alright, flashback time. Our story starts two years ago. It was a summer filled with the fragrance of green. The season of clouds and rain was right around the bend. Am I going to die? No, no old you're man. gonna live. Help is coming. Just hold on. You're faster than expected. How is he, Malaya? In a great deal of pain, but lucid. I've patched him up as best I could. We were right to keep him here for observation. Here, Lind. This should ease your suffering. Pulse strong. Breathing steady. Good. Thanks. I'll be able to climb up and fix that darned roof for sure now. <laughs> Easy there, old timer. Learn your limits. Oh my god, I'm sensing it could You're be bad. You're not climbing anything. 
A leaky roof won't kill you, but recklessness will. You worry about getting better. I'll worry about those repairs. Casty, really? Carpentry isn't our vocation. <laughs> but that won't stop our mother hen here. She just can't resist clucking over her charges. No teasing. Oh, where's Trousseau? Sorry I'm late. I had to see an unexpected patient. Speak of the devil, dear. Welcome back, Trousseau. Who was this patient? Sally. She fainted, so I went to see what was wrong. I administered to her, and she seemed stable for the time being. Here, my notes. Though, I'm still concerned for her. I'd like to follow up on her soon. <laughs> I'm not surprised to hear that. You care more about your patients than any other apothecary I've met, Trousseau. Trousseau... That's the heart of what it means to be a healer. Since bad things within the sky, To extend not the helping us. hand to all those in need. Casty's creed and words to live by. It was the force of her spirit that brought us all together. That creed's what makes our order special. I appreciate the kind words, everyone. But no working yourselves into the ground. Let's all take a break, yes? Quite what the pot carriers have to say. Quietly bright and gift pocket once saw Cassie has arrived, Elder Shrive was gradually eroded by Cassie's genuine concern for her patient. Now stands by the Cassie as part of Air's pot that carries. That was very helped. Snowdrops, powerful herbs, and sand bleeding, the language flowers they mean. An old man once plagued by the lower back pain so bad so he cannot get out of bed. Thanks to his treatments, however, he's able to get around and go about his life without issue. Thank you. I'd be better without Malay's medicine. Don't worry about Jaya. He seems a little under the weather. Well, when incredibly calming prayers, you join Aeris Apothecary upon witnessing Cassie's cure and an entire family of the great Milady. She and Randy have pledged their lives to one another. Randy was just teaching me how to look after Jaya here. He was? Uh-huh. Jaya's just such a sweetie, isn't that right? <laughs> it must be nice to be so loved, Jaya. Young men. This guy's sus. Young man looking after the village's horses. He's a diligent enough work adult. Ever since that ears popped has arrived, he's not as much sad. He found staring off in distance. He seems to have most difficulty focusing when Elma comes to examine the horses. That was very helpful. Nothing report, Chief. The cows are basically looking healthy. Randy. Andy's younger brother and far more dependable brother. And once gradually pulled into Aerith's apothecaries and Andy's Cassie's behest, he is now more active in the group than even Andy himself. Randy, how are you and Andy getting along? My brother's insufferable. We feud as often as not. I only wish that knucklehead had as much brain as he did Braun. If he was as clever as Malaya. <laughs> He'd be a force indeed. Still, it was thanks to his verve that you're standing here, yes? Yeah, guess I owe him for that. I suppose Andy's got at least one good quality, huh? You two make a wonderful team. All right, next. I don't know if this ranch will make about air's apothecaries. Surely these animals won't die, right? The man running the farm and his family, but 
keep him. He was once obsessed with efficiency, but Randy Albert convinced him to start thinking about create an atmosphere of a calm so as not to cause stress to his life. Thank stuff. you. Anyone in this house? So and so as I found a partner, you wouldn't have to be interested, would you, Cassie? No. When we ran a farm alongside her husband, we recently retired from handling the whole operation to her her sons. She became one of Cassie's regular and heirs of her Your nail and have threatened to kill off her entire stable of livestock. That was. Alright, just a few more. Orders more here. Thank you, Cassie. I'll be sure to get some rest. Well, just con new elderly carpenter. Once upon a time, he helped construct new Delta Steer. He still feels young as he did then, unless he failed to fix another rather leaky roof ahead of the rainy season. Thanks. Go on, Chief. I can handle old timer and leaky roof, no problem. Randy's rash and headstrong old brother. He wanted to become a soldier before Cassie taught him the value of life. It's unclear whether this lesson or his love for Cassie told me let him to pursue a career in saving lives opposed to taking this. I was just about to head up to Lynn's roof. See what I could do. Thanks for handling that for me, Andy. <laughs> no need for thanks. Leave the muscle work to me. I got the brawn for it. You certainly do. Well, off with you then. Last one is Trousseau, I believe. Is Sally doing alright? I've never seen her collapse like that before. Sally's mother, ever since her husband was killed in the war, she and Sally have lived on their own. Works at a multitude of jobs in order to provide her daughter well into the future. Does Toya doesn't feel so bad when she's reminded herself of a doll for her daughter? Thank you. She was exaggerating. Sally took a little tumble, that's all. Sally's closest friend. He just sees Sally hides her loneliness and wants to be there for her. Not too frustrated, however, by Sally treating him like her little brother. Thank you. Young girl unexpectedly lost consciousness. Thankfully, her condition isn't serious, but at least for the time being, she likes animals and wants to become a veterinarian. Currently, though, she puts on a brave face not to worry about her hardworking mother. That was Grandma taught me all the language of flowers. Hey, G2, Cassie. For example, snowdrops represent an unbroken bond. Grandson noted expert in the village. She's now old enough to accompany his grandma on their mountain treks, where she teaches him about the various types of wild grass. This is other natural wonders. He is also curious about medicines and efficiency. And use of which Cassie and her Andy are happy and important to him. That was very. The mom. Emily Pran X for adventures into mountains to pick vegetables and medicine and learn. Share and share alike is her guiding philosophy. She freely distributes what she gathers with the villagers and heirs pocket. That was very. Keck. Let's go. I want to know Sally's medical history, so I'm asking her mother about it. Or, oh, that's the mother. I'm stupid. Young know, Mary Spock is with her fervent, idealistic desire to save lives. Three years ago, he joined the band after meeting Cassie and the company in Winterbloom. His mountainous enthusiasm leads him to treat patients at all times with little regard for his own need for sleep. How's Sally? Right as rain, and playing up a storm. I was a fool for worrying over nothing. There's no shame in feeling concerned for a patient. In fact, I believe your empathy is your greatest strength. <sighs> Thank you. Well, guess I'll check up on some of our other patients. That should about do it. Everyone seems to be doing well. Now to my last job for the day, sorting through all these patient notes. Nani. Tem? Who's shouting? What's all this ruckus about? His face is as pale as a ghost. What happened, Tem? It's Sally! She... she suddenly fainted! I yelled and no! yelled, and, but she wouldn't wake up! Could you take me to her, Tem? 
We'll all go. No. Let me take a look, Trousseau. This swelling on her forehead, it wasn't there before. Some catalyst must have exacerbated her injury after you left. There's no way you could have predicted this, Trousseau. <sighs> we'll need medicine to reduce the swelling. Wait, you don't mean Santanejo, do you? Santanejo. Santanejo blossoms? Those flowers that grow on the summit of Mount Lithia? That place is rife with monsters. It's too dangerous for anyone. Hold it, Trousseau. Where are you off to? Flower picking, I presume. Please don't. You'll just end up another patient. We have medicine that can help with her condition. It won't do much, but we should try it first and see. But Santanejo Blossoms are the only thing that can save her for certain. If she can be saved, I want to do it. With my own hands. Wait, that's... Malaya, you and the others use what salves you have on hand. Keep her stable until we return. Trousseau and I will go gather the blossoms we need. Chief... The flags... Hold it! There's caring for patients, and then there's risking your life. You can't... No, Andy. I can, and I must. I share Trousseau's feelings. This child's life is on the line, and we must do all we can for her. <sighs> Those are the Chief's orders, Andy. We'll do everything we can to keep her alive, Casty. Just be safe out there. Thank you, Malaya. Something's wrong. Chief! That's it! It's so wide open. We can save her with this. Stay strong, Trousseau. Drink this. It's bitter as sin, but it will refresh you. Skybomb? You never fail to impress. How'd you know we'd need it? <laughs> I never leave home without it. You all push yourselves too hard. Yes, we do. By the way, why'd you support my decision back there? It was your spirit that motivated me. That earnest desire to save a life. You showed empathy and kindness. As a fellow apothecary, it felt right to encourage that in you. <laughs> there you go again, with that mother hen routine. It is our purpose to extend a helping hand to all those in need. It was that creed, your creed, that brought me here. You changed my destiny. But what are the flags? Like, what changed? I became an apothecary to cure my sister's illness. A malady said to be incurable. I studied for years and years. And in the end, my efforts were for naught. I watched her die in front of my very eyes. <sighs> Yet on her deathbed, she said this to me. 
Though my life could not be saved, your hands are those of a healer. Help those in need. Trousseau. There. We have the blossoms we need. Let's take them to Sally, Chief. She's waiting for us to heal her. And so we return safely to Sally's side. The Santanejo blossoms in hand. We saved her life that day. Something is wrong. Something is definitely wrong. Santanejo. Trousseau and I collected those flowers together. He was the gentlest of us all, and the purest of heart. Yeah, that's right. Too pure by half. It's what made it easier for the darkness to find a hold. And stain it with evil. What? Search your memories, Casty. You're almost there. Where are you going, Malaya? The town square. Come find me when you're ready. Acquire what Malaya knows. That's not good. Master Trousseau wants and buy a decree to buy air spot because extending and helping into all in need to help with Sentinel Blossoms. There was, that was before Ch Trousseau changed. Hmm. Ah, <sighs> that was a long trip. Long, yes, but productive. We saved a lot of lives. <laughs> and now, I'm happy to save my sore feet. Oh, I can't wait to dive into bed. <laughs> you were a trooper too, Jaya. I hope Trousseau had some time to relax while we were gone. Hmm. <laughs> There's our mother hen at it again, clucking over her chicks. Oh, stop teasing already. Hmm. It's darker than it usually is at this time of day. I can barely see. Whoa! Easy there, Jaya. Oh no! The animals! Chief! I'll see to them. <sighs> Something's wrong. We should hurry to the village. The healers are back! Help! Help us! Healers? It can't be. Huh? What's going on now? Sally! Tim! Did they got worse? No pulse. Wait, they're dead now! What? No. the no. hell's going on here? What happened? The fuck happened? Sally and Tim went out to play, but never returned. The whole village went out despite the rain to search for them. We eventually found them behind the mountain. But by then, there wasn't any hope left for them. Trousseau was here, wasn't he? Why didn't he help them? The fuck happened? We went to the House of Healing, but no one was there. Trousseau was gone? But where did he go? <sighs> Black swelling all over both children's bodies. Signs that both coughed up blood. 
Their blood is... black. Black? Black blood? Black blood. This must be some sort of poison. I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, Apothecary? I'm not feeling so great either. And the same goes for a lot of us. Oh no, that's very bad. My body won't stop shaking. Signs of paralysis setting in. No! <gasps> F. Casty, what's going on? Black blood. Andy, Malaya. Quickly, they'll need help breathing. I couldn't save them. Not one. Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Chief! The whole town's dead. Bodies are everywhere! We need to stay calm and go over what we know. The first to fall sick were Sally and Tim. After that, everyone who went out looking for them fell one after the other. Uh, what Jesus. sort of poison could do this? Wait. Black swelling and blood, I know those symptoms. The puddles. The water. The color is all wrong. It's all dark. Randy, you're on. That black bruising. Oh no, Randy, no! Huh? You too, Andy. Damn it. Now whatever it is, we've got it too. The rain. It's... purple? Purple rain. Ah! Uh. Everyone, your coats. Quickly. It's the rain. There's some scourge in it that's causing the sickness. Look! Over there! A wildfire? No. Trees don't burn like that. Then what's causing that smoke? I don't know, but I have a hunch. Whatever evil infects this rain, that smoke is the cause. It's spreading poison into the air to rain down upon us. What do we do, Casty? If we do nothing, this pestilence will only spread further. If we are to save anyone, we need to stop that smoke. There's no one else who can help. It's up to us. I feel like what we shouldn't are we waiting be for? standing in the rain. Andy and much Randy, you're with us. Like literally. Got it. Elma, you stay here. Help anyone you can. Uh-oh, that's a flag. Let's move. Fuck sakes. We have, to, we have to do this dungeon? Or is it we're actually gonna actually do the dungeon? Fuck, no enemies. Then again, it is a fucking self dungeon. That's right. We climbed that mountain to find answer. We needed to know what caused the rain that stole the villager's life. Don't tell me there's some treasure chest I'm missing here. I can't remember anything after that. I need to remember. Fucking A. Please tell me there's no treasure that I'm missing here. Stand aside or fight. 
My turn. Yes. Ready? As swift as a snake. There! Cleaning time. Now then. Now it begins. My blade sings. Owl. Ready? There! Now then! Let me out! Thank you. My turn. Well now. My turn. Thanks. Here, I fight for fun, and it's over. It's I can do whatever I set my mind to. The power of life, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I don't think there's any treasure chests for me. All right, let's just keep going then. Dungeon time. So we were going to Santanejo Flowers. Stand aside or fight. Prepare yourself. My turn. There! Now then! Shine bright! Well now. Axe attack! Bruh. What to do? What to do? This'll cool you down. Fucking A. Prepare the blood boils. Soul to shine. Time to shine. We're a wind blow. Red. Stop, but I won't hold back. Just eat this. Well, these hands. This'll cool you down. Fuck, what is it weak to? Curses. Here I come. It's my turn now. Of Queen course it's time. Of course it's that. Why am I not surprised? And so it goes. Oh, there's a shortcut over there. But do I even want to go there? I don't think so. I mean, it's still the same path either way. Life is too precious to risk. Time to shine! Shine bright! What to do? Well now. Prepare yourself. I'm terribly sorry. Damn. Fucking A. Here I come. Yes. It's my turn now. <laughs> What to do? What kill? <laughs> Fucking A. <laughs> All tidied up. These enemies are annoying as hell. This elemental ward. Is that good? Let me see.
Gives you 65 elemental defense. Okay. I really need elemental defense. Fuck, why is it so bright here? Wait, what? Cut oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hikari. It's my turn now. The wind's a favor for I can have my blood boiled so much. What to do? What to do? Oh, no. Butter dick. What to do? There. Well now, this'll cool you. I'm terribly sorry. Don't over. Sorry, but up there. <laughs> All tidied up. Twelve K, easy money. Hmm. There's a treasure chest over there too. Ah, oh, so that's the other entrance too. Aruhodo. Time to clean up the filth. My turn. Well now. Cleaning time. It's my shine bright. This is my chance. Axe attack. Rest. Okay. We should have no problem with the rest of this area. Is that it? There's no save. Hmm. Should I be worried? I shouldn't be worried, right? It can't be. Oh, is, we're back here now. To that scene. Dad. They're all dead. Well, why? Why would you do this? Dead. 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 Rain! Storm! Keep on pouring! <sighs> Hello there, Chief. Welcome home. But well, why? Why would you do this? It's a shame to see you here. I tried so hard to pick a time when everyone was absent. But you always rush to help those in need, don't you, Chief? Trousseau? You're the cause of all of this? But why? Explain yourself! Now! The smoke? I'm burning a special sort of poison. It'll rise up and up, turn into clouds, then rain on down. <laughs> These are tears, friends. The tears of those suffering in this world. What are you saying? Do you understand what you're doing? Of course, Chief. I'm following our precepts to their logical end. Extending a helping hand to all in need. Isn't that right? <laughs> but what's the reason, though? This rain brings salvation! Are you just crazy? Trousseau, Sally and Tem are dead! Yeah, you killed them. I know. I killed them. But why? That you oh, wanted to see. Dear me. Our precious children are missing. Who cares if we get soaked? 
We must find them. What the fuck? This can't be true. You... You used the children to lure the villagers out into the rain? Why? You risked your life to save Sally once. I did. I was a fool who hadn't yet realized the truth. What truth? Didn't you say you want to ease people's suffering? Save them with your own hands? Come now, Chief. What do you think suffering is, hmm? Existence. <sighs> do you remember the man we met during that relief mission, oh, so long ago? He opened my eyes. I see it all so clearly now. From one person. He showed me the truth of this twisted world. Let me guess, one of the gods? We live on a vast graveyard of decay. Maggots glutting on rotting flesh. <sighs> Chief, you don't look so well. Poison finally taking its toll, yes? No need to fret. I'll save you from your suffering. I'll save all of you. You should thank me for the courtesy. <laughs> it's crazy. No, you're wrong. An apothecary's hands are not meant to take life away. And yours were the gentlest hands of all Trousseau. Casty! Open your eyes! This isn't like you! This isn't who you are! Casty, forget it! He's beyond hope! Get a hold of yourself! We need to retreat. Return to the village. No! We need to put out this fire! Doesn't look like it'll be easy to douse. He's likely got enough phosphol to burn for days. Maybe we shouldn't stand on the rain? The logical thing no? would be to run. To save who we can save. There may still be some left alive. Why? No! <coughs> you know we should get out of the rain, you know? Casty! There, there, Chief. No regrets now. I'll extend my hand to all those you can no longer save. In fact, it's time for me to be on my way. There's to be a coronation in Timberain, a kingdom far to the west. I hear so many will be gathered there to see it. So very, very many people. They won't be expecting me to rain on their parade. No. So... Bruh. Monster. He just disappeared into the fuck. The Randy. fuck? Yeah. Randy and Andy. No, don't do it. Don't fucking do it. <sighs> Malaya, get the chief to safety. Andy, Randy. No, don't do it. I got one last lesson for you, Trousseau. This is what it means to extend a helping hand, no matter what it takes. No. No. And they die. No. <laughs> wow, they just suicided just to stop this.
Ah, what a shame. The fire's out. Oh well. I just about finished with this place anyway. My poison spreads through the air too, you know. It'll find you no matter where you hide. My dearest colleagues, I bid you farewell. But the rain doesn't look like it'll let up anytime soon. Malaya. Casty, hang in there. Casty, Casty. No, I won't let you die. Hold on, just a little longer. Snowdrops. Swallow these petals, Casty. Oh no. That should allow you to fight back against Trousseau's poison. If I could only find a way to turn these flowers into a more potent brew. Damn my inexperience. We should. Come on, Cassie. Get out of the rain, you know? At least, no? Nah, there's no way we can get out of the rain. And we're just gonna be dragged. you someone help I, I know that Winnie Gave her life to save you. She was truly a kind soul. Bruh, she just saved a horse. But no, everyone's dead. No! I missed you, Jaya. Oh, you're weak. You've avoided the rain, but the poison's in the air as well. We need to get out of here. Please lend me your strength, Jaya. Rain clouds are blowing off towards the mountains. And we should head the other way. I must save Casty. I can't afford to focus on anything else. <coughs> And then this scene happens in the harbor where we just escape and then the memory loss happens. Snowdrop. 
A rare flower. With the power to cure the black blood. I'll store it in your satchel for you. You are our only hope of saving people from this foul rain. can create a cure. It's you. It's up to you now. Damn, even a horse died too. Just you and me now, Jay. Let's see her off. No! You were actually dead the whole she was already dead the whole time. Oh my gosh, Chief. Remembered everything. <sighs> Malaya. You're no longer in this world, are you? That's right. I'm just fragments of your memories. A phantasm. A dream. Just... a memory. That's why I can only tell you things you already know. But now, at last, that job is done. <sighs> Malaya. You and the others saved my life. Now it's my turn. I swear to you, I will stop Trousseau. I believe in you, Casty. <sighs> Goodbye, Malaya. It's all coming crashing back to Cassie. Joyous days spent with dear friends and a horrible tragedy that befell them. The murderous trousseau is revealed where he will strike next. Timberine. That's where his reign will fall. Her purpose clears. Cassie's put the ruined village behind him. She must stop her former colleague before he commits yet another heinous crime. Damn, what sadness. Casty. There is a cast to your face I've never seen before. Your memories have returned. At the very least, I remember what it is I need to do next. I am happy for you, knowing that I have no intention of prying into your past. You gotta remind you that I am by your side. You're now. You're my friend. Let us face the future together. Thank you. The company will be appreciated. Damn. <laughs> Didn't think it'd be this steep, but damn. Almost at everyone's thing.
What else is the dialogue there? Pale as a ghost. There are only two travel banters. Hmm. Are you alright, Cassie? You're pale as a ghost. Sorry, it's, it's it's nothing. I know what I need to do now. All that's left is for me to take that first step and do it. That first step? Your crazy belief belies your state of mind. I'm sure you are standing still. Hesitant, yes? If something worries you, don't keep it balled up. I'm here to help. I'm a cleric, after all. A shepherd to my flock. Temenos. Thank you. Like that's it. What sadness. <laughs> wow. Alright. Well, anyway. See you guys all next time. I believe the next thing we're gonna do is... Agnia? Perticio. Damn, that one's level 45. <laughs> uh. Then, of course, Oswald. Oshet Temenos. But yeah, guess I'll see you guys all next time.